Okay, right now the site's called Marketing Assistant, and so this is a home page of a few of the things that it does, the features. So here at the bottom we have the login page, username and password, and fill that in and we get started. This is the main page that it comes to, and it shows I have it set for a 21 day free trial, and so it counts down the number of days as a link here to the buy button. When this expires, then all of this goes away, and it tells you that it's expired with a link to then buy now. So what I have here is just a series of reports. You should see what we've got scheduled to call today, tomorrow, yesterday, this week, last week, or the last 30 days. I can display any number of orders, and I can do select the report. We can call a report. We can redate. So if you miss some appointments, you can go back and redo those. You can eat mass email everybody uh, on the in your list, and you can do a general report of everybody. All right, so we can search for a specific business. Let's do all right. So I put in air conditioning, AC, and you can make up these as you want. So this gives me a table of the all the ones that are in the list. It has the name, whether they've been contacted or not. Usually that means I've made a phone call or something. It tells me the industry they're in. And there's an autoresponder built into the system. So there's a, the autoresponder is on. Uh, the autoresponder that we're doing is marketing assistant dash two. And the last date they were contacted, in this case, zero because there's no email. But on the one where there's an email, they've, they've got nine of them. The last time they were contacted was nine. 06. And that's the last one right now. I'm working on more for that series. It tells me what day I should follow up with them. If they've got an email, I can actually click on this. If I had an email client, it'll open up Outlook or Alec Express or whatever you're using, except for it won't work with webmail. Then, of course, their phone number, whether I have a work or cell phone, and then, of course, the state. So this will work in any any state. Okay, we'll just use Dan's heating and cooling here. Business contact, so you can see all the information. Now you can put in here the time zone that they're in if you work in different time zones. For Google Places, it takes and uses their phone number. You need to be logged into Google, so you need to have a Google account, but most people that are offline marketers have that, so they can update Google Places. Simply clicking Google Places gives you Dan's listing. So here's the, the number. Shows Dan's cooling here, and then, then also the location. And here you can just simply click on edit and see how much of the Google Places stuff he's got listed. In this case, uh, base, just the basic uh, stuff that Google found. So they really haven't claimed a listing. Uh, he's on here, but really someone needs to fill all the rest of this in to help him with the Google Places, with the rest of the Google Places so that he gets listed better. Two other analysis tools that are here are Sir Centro Analysis and Website Looker Analysis as well. If I, when I click on this, Sir Centro, it shows me all of the information about Dan's heating and cooling website, uh, what the you know snapshot of the home page, uh, description, keywords, all that stuff. Then, of course, coming down you can see various traffic and stats and all that kind of stuff. So it's a quick way to look and see how that website is. Again, for someone who's doing uh, offline stuff, this helps helps you figure out what they've done and what they haven't done. Same thing with Website Looker. So anyway, on, on Website Looker, obviously it gives you the name, uh, any other information they can find on it. Gives you their Alexa ranking, again, title, description, visits per day, revenue, if there were ad, if there's ads or if they were to have ads on it, the, the creation date, how long it's been around, IP address, that kind of stuff. You can get uh, Google links or Yahoo links by clicking this. It'll show you. You've got a page rank of three, which actually isn't too bad. So there's just a lot of useful information that can tell you really what, how much attention they've paid to the to their website and updates. So it makes it nice and quick for people to do some analysis on a business. Uh, here's the AC industry. Uh, when you call and you get a secretary administrator, make sure you put their name down so that when you call back, 
Here I say include the autoresponder. There, they've done up to sequence nine. I can reset this if I want. I can go back to zero or whichever one I want to go back to. The autoresponder name and, and in this case number, whether they've had a letter sent to them or not. In this case, uh, actually, they have had one letter sent uh, to them, and that's all on a minute. I'll show that in a little bit. So anyway, when I call, I can get comments talked. Or if I call and there was nobody there, you can just click leave a message, and it automatically puts that information in, date and time stamps it. Here's where you can say what you can track what you've what you've done for that client. So if you've rendered some services, say they've got Google Places and you've updated it for them, as you can do. So this kit gives you a chance to see what you've done for them and see what else you might be able to go back to them and help them with. So maybe, maybe you didn't do the site title, uh, but you came up with some good ideas. Now you can go back to them and, and solicit more work from them by adding some of these other things that you know that you haven't done for them yet. If you've got a phone call or, or meeting, uh, you can put in the date and it'll automatically update for you and it's Y2K compliant obviously and then you put in the date or time rather and say you, it was going to be uh, 9 a.m. You say it's a follow-up phone call and if it's just a phone message if not and you're meeting with them their office. Now you, one of the things you want to do is note what they have. So if they're doing TV ads, if they've got a phone book, yeah, maybe they're doing radio spots, pay-per-click or billboards, uh, make sure the more of these they have, the more they're obviously spending on advertising, and so that's better. And they're more likely to hire you to do their online presence as well. You got, you've got a list here of the things they've that's already done, too. Uh, say when you found them, they had Google Places Basic, but they didn't have it full. In this case, that's right. He had a Yahoo local, uh, but it wasn't full either. There was no, no listing on Bing. He has a website, but he didn't really do much with the title. He has a, he's got keywords, but they're just you know they're just basic keywords. He has a description, uh, but that even needs to be modified. Um, he doesn't have any analytics. He's not listed on Yelp, and he's and he's got a couple of reviews: one, two positive, one negative. So it gives you an idea uh, as well. Uh, reviews are big in helping people do offline marketing for people searching for them online. He doesn't have a blog, Facebook, Twitter account, and he doesn't have a unique selling proposition that he says uh, about air conditioning is what everybody says. Once I've talked to him, maybe there's something I need to do. Maybe I need to go do some research and find something for him. So I would put down here, get them a uh, do the online presence analysis uh, or something like that. That's what I'm going to go back to and meet with them at their office and actually show them what their present analysis looks like. Okay, So that's ba the basic page, but it gives you a lot of information at a glance, and you know a lot about this business, what they've done, what they need to do, what you need to do for them, what, you, what services you've rendered, all that. So when you're done, you simply click Update, and that will take you back, take you back to the follow-up list. And if you don't want, if you don't want to do anything more here, simply click cancel, and it takes you back so you can do more research. On the side here, we've got log out, contact us, which gives you a contact page. I'm working on training videos. If you have a new contact, if you want to edit your profile, and then letter one sets up. Let me go ahead and do the letter one. Okay, so when you do letter one, press letter one, it looks at the ones that haven't been done already, and then it goes ahead and it pulls them all up, puts in there information, opening subject type line, says Dear Dan's Heating and Cooling Owner, and then it, then each one of these is personalized for the agent uh, or the offline marketer, so it has their information. Then, then it just comes through and a little quick, and I've made this in big font so it's easy to read. I offer a free OPA or online presence analysis. Uh, there are people that are charging $200 for that value, so I uh, entice them to call me and then I actually have a couple of videos in here links for videos if they'd like to go out and see a little bit more about what we do and uh, how a unique selling proposition these are also in emails and the autoresponders and so I have the unique selling proposition I also have the M video for marketing uh, and then of course a, a call to action call us now and then my number and then my all my contact information here then it comes on down to the, ne the next one so anyway that's they're all linked together uh, you simply click at the bottom. At the bottom of the page, there is a print button. So you simply click print. You'll need to 
set up the page so it doesn't have header or footer information. You don't want that showing on your letter. And then if you're not going to print them, you just click, click, click close. And at this point, it hasn't said that you've mailed them yet so that it won't mark each of the records. And then if you're going to create labels, you can start, let's say you got a partial list of labels. So you start on row three, uh, column two. That was the last one, that was, the next one that's available. So you simply click create labels and you'll see the first two rows third row and here's it starts here so so you can customize it so that it uses all the labels on your sheets so depending on how far down it went and then again and then the, the break for the page and again at the bottom print make sure you have your labels in your the machine that you've got and you're done so clicking closed close window and we're back to back to the navigation page here edit profile so do you edit your profile it's just your your profile page shows your username. I've start out the password, but it'll show actually show you your password so you can know what it, what it is. Of course, to get here, you'd have to know what it is. As your contact information, email address that you want to use, your website, and then you can customize your signature email for your signature. And so, if you want to put down here, we've got up to 250 characters for your signature, so you can modify this however you want. But keep in mind, you've got up to 250 characters, and then it'll stop you from entering anything else. When you're done, you simply click Update, and it'll take you back to your gener the uh, navigation page again. When adding a new contact, that link is over on the left-hand side, New Contact. Click on that, and it'll bring you to an Add New Business Contact page. So if we put in business, uh, business name, Tires R Us, Smith, Fred, and they're at in Wichita, Kansas, 67202. Then you put in their work number. To me, you won't have their mobile number. You won't find that. But uh, let's say they have their website is uh, Fred at Tires, or their email address, tiresrs.com. And the system will automatically recognize the back part of this and say that's the website. If you, if you do that and it's a Gmail account, it will obviously put in Gmail, which isn't true. So you'll need to get their website, Tire Industry. And then if you want to include them in the autoresponder, then you click that. It will put in zero and the date they start. And then in my case, I have autoresponder MA2. Now I can put down notes here. Where did I find them? I stopped by their, their shop and uh, got uh, a new tire. So I was by there and I stopped and talked to them. Come to find out they need, uh, they have no, basically they've done nothing to do a, a good web presence. Then I go out, if, if I have time or I want to do an analysis, I can go out and do a quick analysis and see if they've got a Google they, they didn't even have a Google Basic. They had nothing. They have a website, but the title, keywords, none of that stuff is good. They have no reviews. They have no blog. They have no analytics. They have no USP. Uh, they have no reviews, nothing. So I just simply add this contact, and it will show up in my list. When you click that, it comes back here with a clean page. When you're done, you just simply close the window, and you're back to reports generation. So that's pretty much the overview of it. Uh, you can generate reports. Who do I call today? Who do I call this week? There's a report. Tires are us. It gives you. It, it adds you two days to uh, when you add them in. It, the follow up is two days away from today. So we did it on 9:28, and so it'll say the follow up date is 9:30. Then when you do the when the autoresponder kicks in, it'll start counting this number each day, and it'll tell you what the last day was that they have received an autoresponder. Then, of course, there's email and all that stuff. So we are, if I want to find them, if I know, I can do a search by Fred and first name. Click Advanced. That'll show me everyone whose name is Fred and it's got in the list. Tire, tires is the industry or tire, just any part of it. Again, here's the same listing. If I want a list of everything, I just did a space or, or you can come down here and do general report and it'll give you everybody. And there we are. Contact list, got everybody here. So that's pretty much it. Pretty simple but very powerful. I'll let you keep updated with everybody. So this is the end of the overview for the marketingassistant.com website.